Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we are taking a look at some of the changes and new additions throughout June in New Horizons. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So we are now a couple of days into June in New Horizons and a month that brings quite a lot of changes to our islands. Some of these changes are seasonal adjustments whilst others are new events and celebrations we'll be seeing over the coming weeks. Some of what we're about to cover may be a bit spoilery depending on how well you avoid announcements and things like that, so please bear that in mind. Of course, I'm sure you know about some of the more obvious ones already, but we'll pretty much go over everything just in case. So here are 10 changes and new additions during the month of June. Number one, Children's Day. So this may have slipped under the radar for many players, but from June the 1st, International Children's Day is celebrated in New Horizons with exclusive items available to purchase at the Nook Stop. The Nook Stop is of course found at the Resident Services or through the Nook Stop app if you have it unlocked. If you head to the Nook Stop and scroll across to the seasonal items, you can purchase both a handmade cape and a handmade crown. These are super adorable items, so I definitely recommend you get them while you can. Plus, they're really cheap to buy. Number two, bushes. June is pretty much the start of the summer season in New Horizons, despite the rainy weather I've been having recently. But because of this, many of our bushes will have changed in the last couple of days. Of course, bushes can be bought from Leaf when he stops by the island's plaza and can be planted all year round. However, certain bushes flower and bloom at certain times of the year. At the start of June, you'll probably have noticed the beautiful azalea bushes you planted everywhere now look boring with only plain green leaves. Unfortunately, these won't flower again until next April. The good news is hydrangea bushes have become less boring as they're now the ones flowering. So you may want to think about swapping out some of the bushes for pink or blue hydrangea. It's worth mentioning this is only relevant to the Northern Hemisphere. Players in the Southern Hemisphere currently have holly bushes, which remain bloomed until the end of the month. Number three, Nook's Cranny. As you probably know, the upgraded Nook's Cranny store often redecorates throughout the year and displays different decals and decorations in their windows and on the outside of their store. With it being summer, Timmy and Tommy have added some summery silhouettes to their windows, showing off a seaside theme, as well as some shell lighting above the doors. However, that's not really the interesting change we see. If you head inside the store, you'll notice there's a new display area in the bottom left corner of the store. This new spot showcases all new seasonal items that change every few days. The items available are themed around the summer season, at least in the Northern Hemisphere, and are available in different colors. For the last few days, my store had a fan. However, today I have a cool looking surfboard, which will remain available for sale for the next few days, at which point it will be swapped out again for something new. It's really awesome having an additional item available to buy a Nook's Cranny because it did feel a little bit bare. Number four, Summer Solstice. We are expecting to experience the summer solstice towards the end of June on June the 21st, which is the longest day of the year. This is a holiday that has also occurred in New Leaf, where the sun actually stays above the horizon for a period of 36 hours, which is really cool. It's not known for sure, but I have no doubts we'll experience something similar on the New Horizons Island. In celebration of this holiday, a summer solstice crown will be available to purchase from the Nook Stop, either at the resident services or the app on the Nook phone. Of course, just like a few of the other things we've mentioned, this is only relevant to the Northern Hemisphere. The Southern Hemisphere will experience a winter solstice and will most likely be able to buy the winter solstice sweater. Of course, each item is available exclusively to the relevant hemisphere, but you can trade to get the other or simply wait until the end of December when each hemisphere will celebrate the opposite solstice. Number five, new critters. So as you'd expect with any new month, a bunch of new bugs and fish can now be found around the New Horizons Island. You may have already noticed some of the obvious ones. Furthermore, June is basically the start of summer in the Northern Hemisphere and the beginning of winter in the Southern Hemisphere, so more new critters than usual can be discovered. There's too many to mention here, but most significantly, June marks the start of the shark season in the Northern Hemisphere, as we can now find the likes of saw sharks, 
hammerhead sharks, great white sharks and whale sharks off the coast of our islands. This also means there's a good chance you'll stumble across Shark Island on the Mystery Island tour and see fin fish pretty much everywhere, so keep an eye out for that one. Most of these sharks will only appear during the evening after 4pm in case you haven't been able to spot any yet. Either way, these fish are pretty cool and they sell for lots of bells. Number 6. Bug Off With it being the beginning of the summer season, it's out with the fishing tourneys and in with the bug offs. Starting on the 3rd Saturday of June, which is the 20th, and the weekend of the summer solstice, Flick will stop by the plaza to host our first ever New Horizons bug off. Much like CJ's fishing tourneys, Flick will challenge us to catch as many bugs as we can in a certain time frame and reward us with bug themed furniture items. There's a good chance it will run exactly like the fishing tourneys and we'll be able to take part as many times as we like. Again, this is only for the Northern Hemispheres unfortunately, but players in the Southern Hemisphere can of course take part by visiting a friend in the North. However, if you prefer to wait, the first bug off in the Southern Hemisphere is in November. Number 7. Father's Day June is certainly a busy month as it's also Father's Day on June the 21st, which also happens to be the same weekend as both the Summer Solstice and the first bug off, unless they change things beforehand. Just like Mother's Day back in May, Father's Day is celebrated with a brand new exclusive item available to purchase from the Nook Stop. You may have already spotted it, but any time throughout the month of June, you can head to the seasonal section of the Nook Stop and purchase a Thank You Dad mug. You can see it just below the Children's Day items here. Again, I definitely recommend picking one of these up while it's available. Number 8. Weeds if you've already played over the last couple of days, I'm sure you've already spotted the weeds currently growing on the New Horizons Island. I believe for the first time in any Animal Crossing game, weeds look completely different depending on the time of year. And given the month of June has kick-started the summer season, the weeds around our islands look completely different than they did even a week ago. It turns out weeds sprout and bloom flowers differently throughout the summer and they look bushier and larger than they did. Some of the older weeds don't even look like weeds at all and look more like flowers. But don't be fooled, they are still weeds and I still recommend picking them and selling them to Leaf when he next visits. Number 9. Summer Shells One change you've most likely already heard about is the new crafting material that can be found along our beaches. If you're lucky you can find all new summer shells washed ashore. These items are the latest seasonal material and can be used to craft a bunch of new seasonal DIY recipes. You should be able to find multiple shells each day, but you may have to keep clearing out existing shells until new ones spawn in. The shell DIY recipes you need to use these new shells are primarily found in the bloom presents that float across our skies. Just in case you didn't know, these actually replace the young spring bamboo items that we've been able to find over the last couple of months. So unfortunately, the young spring bamboo can no longer be farmed and the recipes no longer found. Number 10. Wedding Season Of course, I'm sure you already know by now, but June introduced the wedding season, which is a month-long wedding event and brings both Reese and Cyrus to Harvey's Island. Over the course of the event, we are able to decorate the cabin in a wedding theme Reese describes and earn both limited time wedding items and all new heart crystals, which are a temporary currency used to buy even more wedding items. If you want more information about this event, check out my previous video where we go over everything you need to know. And I think that's pretty much it. I think we covered all the changes or new additions of the month of June in New Horizons, but if I did forget any or there's anything you'd like to add, be sure to let us know in the comments below. But for now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any New Horizons news. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters, as well as this channel's members. You guys absolutely rock. If you'd like to become a channel member or support this channel through Patreon and help me keep making Animal Crossing videos, the links are in the description. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too, especially if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, it's definitely a good place to find islands to visit. And of course, if you got this far in the video, please comment Summer, just to let me know you did, that would be super awesome. And please be sure to include what you're most looking forward to over the coming weeks, I'd love to know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining, please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching, I hope you have an amazing day, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.